What's going on guys? Joseph from H2O Planes here and today we are back at the Reef of Palooza. This is the aquascaping booth where all the freshwater people are. This is a reefing event but they are bringing the freshwater side to it and uh, I want to show you guys the different tanks. We were just live streaming earlier and I tried to go live on YouTube but uh, it didn't seem to work. Poor connection. I don't know what that's about but hopefully you're watching this and uh, you're checking some things out. So I'm going to show you the takes now and uh, let's get into it. So putting the finishing touches on them, cleaning the glass, getting these ready. Check out those aquascaping tools. <laughs> 99 cent paintbrush, there you go. None of those $25 piece of uh, steel. No, nothing like that. Boom, there you go. Oh, beautiful fish. Very nice. Let's go a lot more plants. He's filling it. What's up? You're filling it. Yeah, slowly. Slowly but surely. I mean, I'm done with the aquatic part. Yeah? Check that out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I want this tank. And some of your wife said that too. We want this tank. <laughs> I'm gonna hurry another guy already off in the uh, 450 for it. That's steep. Uh, it's not even uh, how much I charge for this thing. What if I just bring you in the back room? Give you a quick wrap and tug. No? I'll go for a little bit of C block love. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll make it work. <laughs> I've had a little bit of blood shooting tears in my life. <laughs> that takes... Are you live streaming right now? Yeah. Ah, damn it. What? <laughs> Don't worry. It's only 10 people. It's not, it's not like Joey trucking 6,000 that he oh, gets. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is he doing now? I don't even know where he's at. But he found a bar. Probably. I haven't seen him. <laughs> Shh, you're not supposed to say that. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good right now. We just ate before we came. I'm surprised they don't have food vendors in here. did last year. Such a missed opportunity. Such a missed opportunity. Do what you gotta do for that tank, right? We heard it. <laughs> you didn't hear it. Hi. I am H2O Plants. What's your name? Kurosh. What is it? Kurosh. Kurosh, nice to meet you. Are you his mother? Lisa, yes. L Lisa, nice to meet you guys. Um, You're... Are you here for the show? Are you working with the vendors? Uh, I'm just kind of uh, taking it all in. My I first know. my first uh, aquarium it's convention. So, so nice. It yes. is. Two hours to... What's it? Well, that's just because it came up so quickly on me, and I, I'm busy building the fish room out, and it takes a lot of money to do that, and this is also a lot of money to set up something like this, so. It's so great. It is. So great. This is the first time right now. I am live. You want to say hello? Oh, I don't, I didn't know. No, it's fine. It's fine. Do you want to say hello? Hi. All right, here. Say hello. <laughs> got a young fan. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Nice. And how many tanks you got? Twenty-five. You have a 25, 25 tanks? Or, 25 tanks? Holy crap. You have a cool mom then. <laughs> a cool mother. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so you guys, uh, here. You've ordered from us before? Uh, I'm working on getting more clipping. 
Well, here, $10, $10 off any order that you want to place with us, all right? So, you're welcome. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You guys are welcome, all right? Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. I love meeting you guys, so if you guys are here. Listen, there, there, there's no brakes allowed around here. <laughs> Dustin's over here. Dustin's been here since what time yesterday, setting up? Right. Yeah. The the real. Yeah. The the real question is, where's Josh's sledge, sledgehammer? What you, bro? That was a great video. You should have left it up. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Some uh, tissue cultures here. I actually, I got a bunch of these uh, Flamingo Crips coming from a hobbyist. Paid 50 bucks for, they're $10 each. One one plant. Yeah. They're, they're, but they're not as pink as they I have seen other people. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the thing. They're under high tech tank, but um, I don't know. They're just not bringing out that pink. So I don't know if they're correctly identified. So I ordered these from somebody else that I know are the, like I can see that they're the pink. Just to be able to match it up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Andy says, cool, that's the ShamWow guy. No, this is TankWow. TankWow. TankWow, right there. TankWow. <laughs> really? Oh my god. <laughs> it's funny though. You should do all the videos like that, all the videos. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, there is, there is, there's so many ways. Yeah. Let's see. See, guys, this is the aquascaping competition. Just checking it out. Thanks for all the likes and shares, guys. Really appreciate it. Kevin's Kelly's sick tank over there. What's up, baby? Look at her, like a fish out of water. Why are you a fish out of water? Because why? Because why what? I don't know. Do you got plants, though? No, I have no plants. You got no plants? Do you know where I can get some from? Uh, H2Oplants.com, I have some. I never heard of it. Oh, no? No. You should check them out. Yeah? I hear the owner's an asshole. Oh, you know what? Go away. <laughs> You're not allowed on my live stream no more. Bad mouth to me. <laughs> Margaret's bored. Do you want to call an Uber? Do you want to stay here all day? Yeah? No, you stay. Stay with me. You have to hold down your man. How much more can you get? I'm just live streaming, I'm hanging out with people. For some reason, YouTube didn't work. Got got really poor reception. I don't know, but yet I'm able to live stream on Facebook. So I don't know. Jetta says she's awesome. Thank you. So you're talking to a little kid? Yeah. I should really wash my mouth. Yes. It's hot. It is. <laughs> Thank you.
Find Joey, King of DIY. I don't know where Joey is. I'm not his keeper. Jake, no, I don't want to eat you. I really like this tank right here. This looks like a uh, some sort of mountain mountain range. Joey mentioned you in his live stream the other day, like a boss, H2O Army. Thank you, Melina. Or was Melanie, sorry, read that wrong. If you see Joey, tell him that Jameson says hi. I will. Seeing Dustin and Justin talk is awesome, my favorite plant people. Thanks, Floyd. Yeah, there's no hard feelings. Competition's good for business. I'm, I keep saying that. Nobody, everybody thinks that they that people get butt hurt when uh, when you have competition around. Some some more frags over here. These cores are absolutely massive. I keep staring at these. I'm like, dude, I want I want a saltwater tank. This is my favorite fish. If it was a blonde one. I, I like how you use like the little rubble to like create like it, it's like little stones. Like look at that. That's, yeah, like, and I tried to leave this space up here empty so it kind of like leads you back. Yeah. You know, more. Yeah, it looked like like something blew out of that and just yeah. went everywhere. It's awesome. Any fish uh, there? Do yeah. you have any fish in here? No. Not in this one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, ask Christian. He's the one who fished the fish out this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's actually a very good question. I'm not even sure what condition my fish is. I oh. trusted it. Maybe that was a mistake. Where is Challenge the Wild? I don't think he came into this one. There's some fish in this tank, though. Very, very nice. I like this tank. Back again. Now I'm just covering the freshwater side because I don't want to give corals any more any more uh, rep than they need. Let's see. Can I? Can I? There he is. I actually see Rob doing some work for once. What's going on here? This is. Oh, all right. I'm surprised he just didn't like drape a thing over the whole booth and said, "Ah, no, nobody's here. We can't. We can't help you out." <laughs> what are those huge leaves? Jungle leaves? Indian almond leaves? So these are Indian almond leaves. And what are they used for? Right. Okay. Okay, so they're really good for shrimp. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they and lowers, lowers pH. pH. They also release anti, the antioxidants. Okay. And they release tannins too. So right. there's antibacterial properties. It's just good for the health of the aquarium. Gotcha. And they're all, I've seen them a lot in beta tanks too. Yes. Yes, a lot, a lot of beta tanks. They're a pretty natural decoration. 
Yeah, they are. Leaf litter in like a natural scape is very nice. You can even probably crumple it up and like just spread it around and make it look nice. Very cool. I like to put them on a clip and right. section up to the back of the tank and let it like hang down. Oh, okay. And then the skeleton will have a Oh, yeah. And then the skeleton will stay there. That's awesome. This is like... I am live. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Damn, we're up to 30 people. Thank you guys for sharing. Whoa, we're getting up there high real quick, guys. Thank you for sharing the stream. Give it a liking if you like this stuff. Awesome. We're going to go take a look at a couple of the other tanks. I'll show you guys around. <clears throat> there we go. You guys are great sharing that stream. We got up to 50 people just now, it looks like. Awesome. Making last minute adjustments. Nice. Jake, I'll, lay, I'll tell Rob to hook you up with shrimp when you share the stream like you're supposed to. Be a good boy. I love the improv tools that everybody's using. People have paint brushes, just regular paint brushes, turkey baster, doesn't show you need anything special. Thank you, Jameson, for sharing it, because Jake does a bad job of doing his only job of sharing the stream. There we go. Jake actually did his job. Thank you, Jake. Hook me up with some shrimp. Ah, right, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Let's go talk to the man of shrimp. <clears throat> he he's making a video right now, but we're gonna go try and grab him as soon as he puts the camera down. But check this out. Look at how many people are around this. I don't have to share the streams unless you're home. Reef of Palooza doesn't count. It does count because everybody wants to see this. Nobody wants to see me in my fish room. Look at this tank by Kevin Kelly. Absolutely amazing. Just wait for this. It's not even done yet. <clears throat> Are you still recording? Are you still recording? I am. The people want to know. They want to get a hookup for shrimp. You guys want to get a hook up for shrimp? Where should they go? I'll finish this up. <laughs> Sorry, I just photobobbed your video. It's all good. Hey, what's going on? What do you call them? H2O Army. There you go. What's going go. on, H2O Army? If you guys want some awesome shrimp, healthy shrimp, feel free to check out flipaquatics.com. We're getting ready to revamp our website. We got a lot of big things coming up. And, uh, and I have the most beautiful employee, Amanda. If you guys want, Amanda, <laughs> hurry up, come here. We got something going on. I have the most beautiful employee. There you go. This is Amanda, and uh, she's the one. You know, if she, you're she runs it. She runs the she show. Runs I'm just, you know, she just uses me for, for my. Uh, I don't know. She uses me for my abilities when it comes to shrimp breeding. <laughs> you're done. So um, the people want to know, like, a hookup with shrimp. What do you have coming in? You have an import order, right? Yes, yeah, so we have an import order coming in. We got. Oh, as far as Neo Caradina goes, we got the blues coming in, the fancy blues. We got the black rose coming in. We got oranges, reds. Um, we got a few others. I can't. Carbon reels for sure. Um, we're bringing in some Taiwan beads. We're bringing in extreme blue bulbs, uh, pandas, red pandas, King Kongs, all that good stuff. Nice. It's, Man, it's you're like, getting the arms here. Like, I got yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should have brought my tripod. I was going to bring it to hook oh, it up. But, it's brutal. Um, so. 
he brought me up. What were, where were those shrimp? The blue shrimp he brought me. Those they were uh, they were mid, so they're chocolates. All okay. of them come from the chocolate line. Okay. They're blues from the chocolate line. There's a there's a couple of blacks in there. There's okay. I think there's one or two like chocolate colored. Ones. Okay. So they're the, they're the chocolate line of shrimp. Right, okay, so those were like the most blue and black shrimp I've ever seen. Yeah, you like those? I was like looking at them under light, I'm like, this is incredible, the color, absolutely amazing. <laughs> I've never seen it. That's it was, awesome. It was awesome, so. Uh, so you're I, happy I, with them. I'm so happy, I hope they yeah. live. That's the only thing, because I, I don't have good experience crossed. with shrimp. Uh, but I've never bought from you, so it's, it's That's awesome. That's true, so yeah. if they live, that will be a testament, that right? Will, that will be a testament. So if you never see a video about them, you'll know they didn't do well. Uh, well, <laughs> but I don't think that's your fault. That's probably more my yeah, fault. No, it's all so, good. But that's the uh, thing. Like, I want them to live for you. So yeah, if they live yeah. for you, then that's then I'm doing my job right. Right. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to go check out the live scaping. Go see check out Flint Aquatics you. if you want some shrimp. See you, Justin. All right. All right, guys. We're back. Let's go check it out. My arm was getting tired there. <laughs> holding it out. <laughs> Thank you, Jake, for sharing the stream for once. I suddenly need shrimps. You do. The, the shrimps that, flip, uh, that Rob gave me are absolutely amazing. I love them. I hope they just live because they haven't had a good track record with shrimps before. <clears throat> shrimp are amazing. I do. I have. A, I have some cherry shrimps doing pretty well in my tanks right now. So, oh, putting on the final touches. This tank is absolutely crazy. Look at this rock with water dripping down it. I, he's still not done. He's cutting it close. Will he finish in time? <laughs> this is actually petrified wood they use for the rocks in here. It's really cool looking. Uh, I can't really see it from the top of the tank, but really cool looking nonetheless. My eight-year-old daughter is watching with me your coverage. Oh, thank you, Karen. I want that rock. I do want that rock. That's actually, uh, he said, 40 different pieces of rock put together that he glued together and uh, bonded. Now he's planting it. You're cutting it close. What time is it? What are we doing? Uh, I that don't have five o'clock. Yeah, it's like getting close. Four, four or five o'clock. I don't know. You still got time. No rush. I'm, I'm just putting the pressure on. Everybody else is done. I'm gonna punch you in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great though, but I think you're automatically disqualified. Why? Because I think it's within the tank competition. You're, you're. J I got you plants know. in the tank. No, no, but you're really out of the tank. <laughs> automatically disqualified for being the best one. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch up with Joey? Maybe. I don't know where he is. I actually haven't seen him yet. He's, he was hanging out with me last night, but I haven't seen him since. I think he's out doing some other saltwater things. So this one, this guy's actually, he's got some rocks here holding it down because the driftwood is floating a little bit. I told him I actually really like that rock. If he had one extra rock to put in the back here to like make it conjoin, it would look really cool. But then again, people would be like, that doesn't make any sense why rocks are on top of the wood, but I like it. This is last year's winner right here. The, well, not the same tank, but this guy that made this tank, uh, Christian, he, he won last year's contest. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
And as you can see, the crowd is starting to form around here. Now that all the tanks are finished, or are getting finished, ah, oh, they're about to add some, looks like almost maybe platies, I'm not sure, to this tank. These two tanks were the last two to finish, uh, other than Kevin's that's still going on. These guys are like the last two that are almost done there. So really cool stuff. What's going on? It's a bunch of videos and oh, live awesome. and shit like that. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew, Justin, nice to meet you. Yeah. How's it going? Good, man. You enjoying the show so far? Yeah, this is awesome. I Did love you it. you get involved in anything? Any kind of office no, this, or anything? No, this is my first time at uh, like an aquarium convention, so I just wanted to kind of check it out. I'm live streaming for people at home that couldn't make it. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to say hello? Cool. Sure. So what's going on? Say How you hi. doing, guys? My name is Matt. What do you, what do you keep? Uh, I have a 90 discus tank with okay. a couple angels in there, nice. and stuff like that. Planted? No. Not planted? Okay. No. I, I did have plants yeah. and I kind of got rid of them. It was kind of gunk up the filter in general. Right. I know there was ways to curb that or whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm a fish keeper just like you, brother. Right, and awesome. plant guy. Yeah, and plant guy. Do <laughs> you have any plants in tanks or you only have the one? Then discus, 90, no plants. Yeah, the one in the kitchen, it's okay. a 30 gallon and it has plants. Nice, nice. All right, awesome. Well, we want to see it. You should post it to the Facebook site. I will, man. All right. Definitely, Thank you very definitely much, Definitely do that, man. Thank see you, you soon. Yeah. Here, if you um, if you want to place an order, save $10 off any order for you. Nice. All right. So. Can I use the old one? The old Joey yeah. one? The old Joey code? Yeah, you can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, yeah, you can use all that. You want to take a picture? Do you mind? Yeah, here. Let me just... Stay right there. You got to move. Just smile. Three, two... It's yeah. awesome, man. Thank like you. Everyone's here. Today. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Have you seen Joey? Because I, I haven't yeah, seen him. Yeah, I ran into him uh, early. He was, yeah. I, just, yeah. I think he's by the front door, actually. Okay. All right, so, so I'll go over there and check him out. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you, buddy. All right. Where's Mike Bernard's tank? Let's go take a look at Mike Bernard's tank. Mike Bernard's tank right here. It's an awesome looking tank. I like how the wood almost almost connects there. If it if it connected, that would look crazy. I absolutely love it. Let's see. Look at who's who's over there. See her right? Oh, she's she's hiding behind people now. Inspiration for all my beta tanks. Nice, Emma. I'm glad you're getting some inspiration. We have some talented people here that are competing in the competition. It's great to see. Mind you, this is at a, a coral or reefing convention. This is the freshwater presence we have here. So I think at all these uh, saltwater conventions, I think us uh, freshwater guys have to go out and represent and really make an impact because. Uh, the hobby, I think, is dominated by saltwater as far as conventions go, and it's nice to see a uh, beautiful freshwater side as well. Not that there's anything wrong with saltwater, but it's nice to see freshwater have a representation in something like this because I, I feel like it's a dwarfed hobby compared to uh, the saltwater side of things. And the more freshwater gets exposure, the more that... Uh, the more will be put into the hobby for it, such as products and stuff. So it's really good to get it out there.
I absolutely love this tank. I used to follow this guy on Instagram. What's going on? What's this? Facebook. Oh, you got so many views. Nice. Yeah, we got so many people in here. Beautiful wife. Baby, what's on your shirt? Got plants? <laughs> That's a new H2O plant design that I'm coming out with for the website. New shirts available soon. Let's take a look at these. I want to see what kind of fish these are. What kind of uh, platies are these? Um, tuxedo platies, I believe. Tuxedo platies? I got them from my friend. From where? My friend. Oh, your friend? They're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I've never seen anything with that black and then orange on both ends. It's really cool looking. Yeah. Platies are great. Yeah. These are awesome. Love it. to 70 just a moment ago. Okay. I think I need to go back and show the wife. They got, they got more views. Which stem, which stem plane is that? Uh, AR. That one's AR? Yeah. Because it almost looks like polysperma sunset. Almost. Huh. It has those same veins that it has. It's cool. It's very cool. And what's this? That's uh, the Cryptocorin Flamingo. Oh, wow. Just lost its flamingo. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I have some of those growing right now, but they're not pink like they should be there like a brownish tint to them so it's nice though I like this tank everybody putting on their final touches by the way the guy that's building that awesome rock structure this is everything he brought here the only guy to bring that many supplies freaking ridiculous but you got a ridiculous scope like this. Thank you for sharing the live stream, everybody that's doing it. Really appreciate it. Loving it right now. Come back over here since this guy's still working on it. You're good, you're good. Uh, I haven't. I only saw Rachel earlier. I think Joey's towards the front of the convention. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Kevin, is all this submerged uh, plants or are these terrestrial? Oh, these are terrestrial? Those are terrestrials? I think you're cheating. <laughs> it looks very nice though. I love this. I really love this. I want it. Over 40 pieces of stone, dragon stone, glued together, tied together. Just incredible amounts of stuff put into this. It's 
it's crazy. Is Dustin there? Dustin is there. He's uh, he's mingling with people. Dustin over there. Joey, Rachel, Rob from Flip Aquatics right there as well. Uh, Joey and Rachel are also here somewhere. They're not around here at the moment, but they are also here. You're welcome, Amanda. A lot of people are admiring the tanks now that they're all pretty much complete, except for Kevin pushing the boundaries of everything. But uh, tons of people here. The freshwater side is definitely making an impact. Oh, we got some shrimp added. Some cherry shrimp, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah? Cherry shrimp? Awesome. They're red. They're red. And some sort of snails. <laughs> Where's Mike? Mike! What kind of snails are these? Those are uh, orange. Uh, sun thorn near it. Sun thorn I've never seen those. That's awesome. Yeah. They're, uh, are they rare or? No. No. We, yeah? no, we sell them at our. Oh, uh, you sell them? Yeah, on empiricaltropicals.com? Yeah, yeah, uh, nice. I still have a lot of Really nice stuff. They're, they're really interesting with like, thorns on them. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's crazy. And what is that? Just regular cherry shrimp on there? Yep. Nice. That's it for this tank? You're not putting down anything else? That's it. That's I'm it. Done. Very nice. I've Very cool. Trying to keep it clean. Yeah. No, it looks good. Thank you. I love, the, I love how they're all just roaming right now. Yeah. That's great. I'm really surprised. I've been in a bag for four days. Really? Four days? Holy crap. That's amazing. Yeah. They look good. Yeah. They're lively. Oh, you do have fish in there. What kind yeah. of fish? Uh, emerald reservoir. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. They're really stressed right now. They're not showing their full color, but you can yeah, see but the you, bigger you, one. Yeah, the bigger one has a little blue. Yeah. Where, where did he go? There he is. If they settled in by tomorrow, they have a lot of blue and red in them. Yeah, I can see the I can see the faint blue. You can't really see it on camera, but they have like this little blue warning to them right now. Yeah. That's awesome. Tank looks good. I like it. Thank you. It, it almost that little gap is annoying me right there. Between the two two trees, me too. I, I I wish that was like just slightly over there. I wish it was like curved. Yeah, yeah, like like hooking into it. it. Should be curved. Right. Yeah, it's playing with me. It looks good, but like that would just be like I don't know. It drives me nuts too. Yeah. I'm also, I'm thinking about breaking it. Just breaking it up. Yeah, like ma making it more like prominent that it's a that there's a gap there. The, the stick, stick, oh, you're talking up. about that one. I'm yeah. talking about this one right here, the one that juts towards that one. Yeah. I want it to almost connect to that. Oh, okay. looking I see like, what you're saying. Yeah, looking like a full like arc. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would look really cool. Yeah, okay. It's almost there. A lot of people are liking your tank. They're giving us likes on Facebook. Nice. It's awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Mike Bernard from my, hard work in it. from uh, Imperial Tropicals. Great scape over here. You think you're gonna win? What do you think? What do you I think about the competition? Do, but the competition is awesome. They Everyone are. did a great job. All they these tanks are. They are. They're sick. They are. All right, cool stuff, man. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I can't make it out there, so it's great to have people like you videoing it for me. You're welcome, Amanda. I'm giving you guys all the coverage. I did saltwater earlier. You can check out the saltwater side of things if you want to go back and look at my other live stream. Platy's <clears throat> about to go in, it looks like. Still getting adjusted. 
Oh, this is really cool. He's got the little piece of wood sticking up out of the, the circle there. It's great. stuff. Margaret disappeared on me. I have no idea where she went. Where did she go? She left me. Size are those tanks and who do they make? Who makes them? Well, Darren Denarell makes the tanks. Do you know what size the tanks these are? Uh, uh, like dimensions? Yeah, or what? Just like what it's they're like called? Ten gallon. Uh, I don't remember the name of it though. It's a ten gallon. I guess you could get them off Denarell's site. They're very nice because they all have uh, curved glass here, so it uh, if you don't have any of those weird edges on the front. On the back, you do ha still have the seams, but uh, nonetheless, it still looks awesome. Say what the brand again, please. Denarell. I know I'm probably butchering it. Oh, there's Margaret. Margaret's over there chilling. Let's see what she's doing. What are you doing? I thought you left me. Yeah, I'm like, what? The, what? Oh, well, there you go. She, she just wanted to. She's, she's a free woman. I'm the page of her lives. His face has some great Is he? What? Check it. Check it. We gotta leave that situation before it gets bad. Where are you at? Uh, we're in the Meadowlands uh, in New Jersey at the Reef of Palooza uh, event. And we're just checking out the aquascaping competition going on here. Got 10 competitors. We'll see what happens. Kevin Kelly with the ridiculous stone going on here. Take a look at this one. Lots of still happening. Yeah? Still going hard. Still going hard. Nice. Got 70 people in here. Would you like to talk about your tank at all? No. Is there anything you want to know about the tank? Well, because <clears throat> I'm going to get embarrassed real fast when I ask you scientific names. Well, I'm not going to ask you scientific names because one, I can't pronounce them, and two, I'm not going to remember them. <laughs> but uh, the fish that you have in here, oh, and you actually have shrimp too. So what do you? What, what's the livestock in here right now? Yeah, so I've got. Um, I believe it's yeah. So I've got nine uh, lamb chop respora. Okay. There, and then I've got uh, six of my like just called cherry shrimp. Awesome. Um, and then. Uh, I don't know, maybe half of the plants that I have in across all my tanks jammed into this tank. Okay. Because uh, I mainly do small tanks that are even smaller than this one. Okay, so, so you like the nano style yeah. and all that. Do you do like vases or you do tanks? I do tanks. So tanks. I build my own tanks. Oh, okay, awesome. Um, so I just cut the glass and glue it all together. Most awesome. of my tanks are less than 10 gallons, between 5 and 10. Okay, so you've, you're, you're experienced working within this, this realm. Exactly. Because it's difficult to create an aquascape in a smaller tank, I, I find. I feel like the more space you have, the more you can do. And uh, I find you have to really get your proportions right with hardscapes and all that. That's true, but it's way cheaper to do small tanks. That, that is true. Very cheap to do small tanks. All of, all of this rock came, or it's, it's petrified wood. Right. It all came from my 75 gallon. That's awesome. And uh, the 75 gallon has another maybe 
four times more petrified wood, and that cost me a um, buckload. Yeah. So I bet this is a nice. So now cheaper version. you say this is petrified wood. Now, is there different colors to it, or it all comes red like this? Yeah, there are a couple different colors. Uh, you can see on here. Uh, this is a much grayer stone, and what I did was I just ordered a bulk order of petrified wood okay. off of eBay. And a lot of it came in red, a lot of it came in orange, and a lot of it came in white and gray. Gotcha, okay. Yep. Well, it looks very nice. Now, do you have to soak petrified wood uh, to get it to sink, yep. or it sinks automatically? Yep. It, it's rock solid as okay. a rock. That's awesome. Um, and it doesn't really leach anything, so it doesn't change the parameters. Awesome. So, what are you doing with this tank when the competition's done? Well, I'm going to drive it home to uh, my home in D.C. Okay. We'll see how well it holds up. All right. Uh, and then I think it'll go in my uh, bedroom for, awesome. for a few months. Very nice. Now, do you do this as like, a, are you just a hobbyist that's competing? Or like, do you have some sort of career in this? Or what do you do? No, I'm a, I'm a documentary filmmaker. Okay. So, I've thought about doing YouTube. Right. Explaining the science yeah. behind everything. Definitely. And uh, it's a lot of work. So, it is. Uh, I've it's, never done it. It's a lot of work, but it, it pays off. I, I find uh, it's really enjoyable. And, um, you know, especially if you have some knowledge. And, I mean, you have a beautiful scape, so I would say, you know, you should definitely go for it. Yeah. Create some content. I mean, I, I admire all the YouTubers out there. You're a YouTuber, uh, right? I am. Not, not as big, yeah, not nearly as big as most of the other guys. Yeah, but. I, I admire everyone. Yeah. It's, anyone that's watching, they don't realize how much work actually goes into it. It, yeah. it is exhausting. It's a slog. There's, there's time. So they want to know, where's the filtration? Yeah, so the filtration is back there. You see that little yeah, yeah. tube coming out? So it's yeah. hidden back there, and there's a hollow cavity which allows for water circulation. Oh, that's awesome. There. Do you know what kind of filter that is, by any chance? Or? I don't. It came with the tank. Oh, it came with the tank. Uh, okay. It's a nice little setup. Yeah. And I don't know what the tank's called either, wow. but it's part of the competition. Yeah, it's cool though. All right, cool. Yep. Well, thank you. And uh, your name is Alex. My name's Alex Lynch. Lynch. And do you have any kind of social media that you post this kind of stuff up? Or yeah. Do you have um, an Instagram you can, or Facebook or anything? The, uh, the closest thing I've got an Instagram account called uh, Tank Tested. Tank Tested, all spelled out like that? Yep. No? Okay, so Tank Tested, guys, if you want to check out him. And uh, the brand of the tank is right there, Denaro. That's that. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, let's, let's go take a look at another tank. I'll see if I can get some more people to uh, talk about it, and we'll see. Oh, oh it's all right. We got a little malfunction here. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Evan, would you like to uh, talk about your tank a little bit, uh, the live stream at all? Sure. So, well, what do you got going on here? What kind of fish? Uh, shrimp, I, I a, see. I have a small group of grass tetras, um, okay. along with a group of about 10 or 11 uh, blue neocaridina shrimp. Okay. Uh, on the back right-hand side, I've got some just regular crimp lucens. Then there's okay. rotala with lychee eye, uh, okay. which is a little discolored from the trip. Right. Uh, attached to the driftwood, I've got both erect moss and coral moss. Okay. Um, there's Got it all bolitis, there. both dwarf and the normal type. The dwarf is up front. Right. The larger size is in the back. Um, okay, back there. I got a dual carpet going of S. Repens and Monte Carlo. Okay. Along with some Lucifalandra in the front and up at the top in the middle. Right. Um, back here, I've got some AR Mini or Cardinalis. Okay. Behind that, I, it's mermaid weed. I, I can't right. remember yeah. the real name of it. Right. Behind that is just another Rotala and. Uh, Another Ludwig, a Ludwigian. Okay, now this is one piece of driftwood here in the middle? It's actually two separate pieces. There's the main piece right here on the left. Okay. And then the branch off that comes down here is a second piece. Awesome. And then you have some stone in the back. What kind of stone is that? That's uh, Sarah stone. Okay, I just used that actually in my most recent scape of my 55. It looks really nice. Um, and uh, now, are you like a professional escaper, or do you do this just as a hobby? This or? is more of a hobby. Uh, okay. I actually came on a whim to Reef of Palooza last year, met Dustin, started looking into it, and actually, I've only had a tank set up for about 11 months now. Oh, okay. So this is, I've got a, some, a couple smaller ones with betas that my wife is into. Okay. And we've just started converting everything over from normal tanks to planet tanks. Okay, so what, uh, so you are all freshwater then, no saltwater side? Freshwater. Okay. And before that, you just had regular tanks with like fake stuff it in It was there. actually like 16 years. We, 
went to the pet store for something for the dog. We fell, my wife fell in love with a couple betas. I decided I wanted to try it again after coming yes. here. Okay. And started hooking up now. I'm on like CO2 and everything else and nice. into the tank. And it's a lot more hands off and everything grows a lot better. Right, yeah. Well, it looks nice. Uh, do you post anything up to social media? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that? Or? Not really. No, not really? All right. That's fine. But it, really talented. I like this. I, I like the wood, how it all is put together and the moss. Well, it looks really nice. What are you doing with the tank after the competition? Not quite sure yet. Are you taking it home or selling it? What do you think? Not exactly sure. Not exactly sure? Do you have any offers on it? No. Okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe I, I heard some people are offering some money for some of these things, so maybe it'll sell. Maybe. Make a couple bucks. All right, cool. Well, thank you. It's good meeting you. Yeah, you too. All right, let's see who else is around to talk to. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Let's see if I can get him. I think so, yeah. I mean, the, the clarity of the world. Oh, yeah. can, I, can I get you on the live stream? Are you going to find that? Yeah? So, let's see. We got Joey here. Oh, God. Close up. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, basically. What's going on, Joey? What's up, guys? Joey's, watch over, it. Joey's over here checking out Beef Palooza. What do you like so far? Um, to be 100% honest, it's just like meeting everybody. Yeah? Yeah, you know, you'll meet the, meet the people that actually watch my videos, support what I do. Yo, know, at the end of the day, that's why I come to these things. So it, it, it's what's most important to me. So, yeah. um, I mean, it's, it's great to meet the companies that I like to work with. It's great to see new products. It's great to see lots of coral and selection and talk to people like experts about the coral. Um, you know, see the escaping contests and whatnot. But again, at the end of the day, for me, the most important thing is to uh, just to meet the people that uh, watch my videos. Yeah, no, it was actually, uh, I mean, this is the first time I've ever been to anything like this, and I just had like a 10-year-old come up to me and say, I love your videos. That's like, it, it's a weird feeling. It's yeah. like, you, you know, you have somebody that's so young and uh, is watching your stuff and really getting inspired by it. Yeah, man. You know, it's good. So... All right, man. Well, I'm checking out the scapes. I'm in. And I see you here doing it. If you, nobody knows who this guy is, I mean, everybody's got to know who you are, but if they don't... They don't know who I am. They, they don't. Joey and his guns. Jo Joey's a nobody. Oh, look at those. <laughs> All right. We get back to the scapes. Thanks, Joey. All right. What's going on? How's it going? <laughs> What's your name? Ryman. Ryman. Nice. Yeah, I brought you on Instagram. Oh, nice, nice. So who's this guy over here? Who's this guy? Yeah. You don't know who this is? No. Oh, Joey. He doesn't watch me. Hey, I guess not. Yeah. You know him? Yeah. I'm just attending. I'm just attending. <laughs> He's just attending. Do you really know the guy? Because yeah. I've never seen this guy. you never seen him? <laughs> who, but who, who is he, though? Uh, I don't know. He might be a nobody. Nobody? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I was looking for Joey, but I haven't seen him around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But you walked out away like okay, let me just Yeah, he's like, let me just let me just I don't know, I don't know. What's going on? Enjoying it? Enjoying it? Can somebody cl please clip that or something like that? So let's see, I think most of the uh, scapers have left. I'll try and get somebody, if anybody else is still here. Kevin Kelly's still going at it hard. Look at this tank, absolutely amazing. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, I might be doing something. I'm looking forward for that. Um, yeah. I don't know if you want to, I was thinking maybe if you want to enjoy and do it together. What, well, what do you do? I do work hard. Okay. So, since you have the plans and all of that, maybe I can 
you know, do the aquarium and we can put it all together. That way you can promote your plants and all of that. Okay. And I can promote my service. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk. Just yeah. message me about it and we'll, we'll look into it. Because I know Dustin wants to get food, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see I year. already talked to them and they told me that the booths, they have booths ready, but I, yeah. I, I mean, it's still available. But I was like, now nah, I just want to see it first and then next yeah. year maybe I, I can look forward for that. So, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we can keep in contact and maybe we can. Yeah. So you're going live right now? Yeah, we're live. Just checking out the Aquascaping Contest. You want to take a picture? There nice. we go. Nice. Yeah. Alright, guys. Nice to see you. I'll see you later. Alright. What was the time frame? How long before it ends? <laughs> I don't even know where we are in the video. What does that guy do? I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll find out. Is that it? Uh, I'm gonna have to walk away for a couple minutes, then come back. And then come back and look at it. And then I have the fish. All right. Awesome. No, he said what he does. I'm just not, I don't want to talk about it on live stream. It's business related. It's a good job. Oh yeah, dude. It's a real good job. I was like putting it on. I mean, you know, it's, it's like a glue, but I mean, that's what, exactly what we're talking about here. So, I do know, it was, it was like perfect time to do it. I I saw red Sean Tanks there. I don't know who that is. Oh yeah, Red Sea is here. Fisher in? Yep. Fisher finally in? Yep, that's hot. Looks like, uh, yeah, the other ones are hiding right, oh, they're in the back. There we go, very nice. Almost 100 viewers. Yeah, can we get to 100 viewers? Can you guys share the stream, like it, all that good stuff? That'd be awesome. I think that would be the first time. Oh, shoot. What is that? Look at Kevin adding flashy things now. I think that's against the rules, Kevin. Kevin's adding smoke tricks. Next is a light show. Gotta get some freaking. Please. 
you should yeah you should get some lasers and start having a point. Hey, I'm gonna pull an Uber and just go home. Why, you done? Yeah. It's done. Announced. Okay. Right. Yeah. Are you going for a smoke? Just share it to all the fish groups I'm in and my Facebook page. Thank you, Jameson. I appreciate it. This is sick. Oh, this is sick. This is ridiculous. I told him though he's cheating. I mean, he's within the confines of the thing, you know. Yeah, but now he's adding smoke tricks. Next is the laser light yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Right? Dequalification. De I see Rachel. Yeah, Rachel is over here. Joey's also over here hanging out. We got Dustin. What's up? Almost out of battery. I <laughs> got like 20% left on this. Thank you, Matthew. Nice to meet you too. Guys, just so you know, I'm running low on battery. Got about 15% left. But if you like the Facebook page, um, I'm going to bring bringing it back up on, uh, on my other phone that I have. So uh, make sure you follow so that way you get notified when it comes back up. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, guys, I just hit 10% battery. Make sure you follow the Facebook page, like it, h2oplants.com, um, or H2O Plants on Facebook. I'll be bringing back up the stream very shortly. Um, I'm gonna set up my other phone, and we'll be good to go, and put this one back on the charger. So make sure you like the Facebook page, and uh, we will be live in just a moment.